Hello stampers and thank you so much for joining me today. This is Laura Buechler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Now today I'm going to showcase one of the most adorable bundles in the holiday catalog which is Snowman Season. You can get this stamp set and punch for $42.25 and it's this great collection of stamps with these sweet little snow people and they're in really darling poses. Uh, and I really love all the fantastic sentiments that comes with that. Not only the Merry Christmas and Let It Snow, but hoping this season builds heartwarming memories. The Let It Snow Specialty Designer Series paper is also part of the Let It Snow suite and coordinates with this uh, bundle. And it is really lovely. Um, Coastal Cabana and Real Red is one of my favorite color combinations. And you can tell that I really love this paper because this is the very last sheet I have of it this sheet and then these little scraps so here. let me show you some of the projects i've done with it we used it last weekend at my christmas mega class to make this adorable card and i've also been using it to make some goodies for my craft fair table on these cute little hershey's kiss uh, treat holders i used the felt hats and scarves that come from the let it snow embellishment kit now, as usual, the embellishment kit is one of the most awesome deals in the catalog. For only $15, you get over 150 embellishments, plus a roll of this washi, glimmer washi tape, and you get these sheets of uh, felt embellishments. As you can see, I've used all the hats and all the scarves, but we're going to be using a pair of these cute little mittens today. And they come in all these different colors. Shaded Spruce, Coastal Cabana, Real Red, and you get these cute little felt snowballs. And these adorable enamel shapes. So you can see on this snowman here, he's got enamel arms. This one has an enamel carrot nose and all these buttons to make the face and the body. Oh, and here's another project I've done with the little snowman. This one is actually punched right out from the designer series paper because that punch coordinates with the snowman printed on the paper as well. So that's why I have very few of the embellishments left, but we're gonna use some of them today. So the measurements for the card we're making today, we have a Coastal Cabana card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half inches. I've got a piece of white cardstock that is four by five and a quarter inches. I've got a little strip of real red cardstock, and that is one and a half inches by five and a quarter. And a little strip of designer series paper, which is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then I've already punched and die cut uh, some circles that we're gonna use. And I've also got a little bit more uh, scraps that we're going to use. So first of all, I'm going to stamp my snowman in memento black ink on white cardstock. And I'm going to cut him out, punch him out with my punch. I'm also going to use the same punch to punch out some arms from basic black cardstock. And I'm going to stamp the little hat in black ink on this red cardstock and punch that out as well. So I've punched out this one and three quarters circle from white cardstock and I'm going to stamp Let It Snow uh, in real red ink on this uh, circle. And 
And then that's going to get layered up with my red circle that I've punched uh, with my two inch circle punch. And on this white piece, I'm going to use these cute snowflakes from the stamp set and just stamp some snowflakes around in Coastal Cabana ink just to look pretty on the background. So other than the snowman, I can assemble the rest of these pieces. So I've used my stitched shapes die to cut out a circle that my snowman's gonna go on. So I'm going to put him together there. And I wanna add some silver thread behind this circle. So let me show you how I do that. I'm going to put adhesive all over the back of the circle. And then I leave that sticky side up on my desk while I get the thread ready. So the trick is when you're doing this, you're going to wrap it around your fingers and you want to make sure however wide you're wrapping it is wider than the shape that you're trying to attach it to. So in this case, I'm going to spread my fingers a bit to make it wider than that circle. And I'm going to wrap that around. Don't worry about making it perfect. And once you've got eight or ten loops there, you can cut it. So awkward trying to cut with my left hand. Okay, so now I've got all this thread and I'm gonna put it down on the circle and it's gonna stick right away, which is what I want it to do because I've made that circle nice and sticky. But once it's stuck down, I can play with it a little bit and move it around and spread it out. make it look more interesting. And that's how it looks from the front. So just play around with it and move the loops to where you want them until you're happy with how it looks. I'm liking that. And then it's all ready for you to stick down onto your card. And then I'm just going to add this sentiment up here. And finally, I'm going to add cute little green mittens for my snowman to keep him warm. So I have found the best uh, thing, the best adhesive that works with these felt shapes is my glue dots. So I love using the spatula end of the take your pick tool to peel off the glue dot and then put it on the back of that felt shape. Stick it down. There 
we go. All finished. So I showed you uh, some of my craft fair items earlier. I've been making loads and loads of 3D items for, for my craft fairs in the last couple of weeks. So I sure hope that if you're in the Nanaimo area, you'll come and visit me at the Quarterway School Craft Fair, which is taking place next weekend, Saturday, November 30th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that's at 1632 Bowen Road. I've got loads and loads of great gifts for you to choose from. And of course, tons of cards for all occasions. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I love hearing your comments and suggestions. So please drop me a line and let me know what you think. And if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to learn about, uh, let me know. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, and you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, the local workshop schedule, and the sign up for my monthly email newsletter. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to let you know that I have a Facebook page under Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, where you can join a weekly card sketch challenge and win a prize from me. Now, if you do place an order today, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website, because everyone who uses that code is going to get a free gift from me. And if you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards, all you need to do is place an order of over $200, or you can contact me and we'll start planning your own virtual or in-home party. Drop me a line for more details. Have a great day, everyone, and happy stamping. Bye.